Hello, this is Lisa Reynoso here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something not my normal topic for this uh, channel. But you've probably been hearing about how the world was supposed to end Saturday, how um, Harold Camping has been teaching for a while that the world would end on May 21st, 2011, and it didn't happen. Obviously, we're still here. Nobody's disappeared. There was no great earthquake. And um, yeah, I've been kind of following this for a while, and I noticed that several news people have compared Harold Camping to Seventh Day Adventists and even to Jehovah's Witnesses. And I wanted to make a few clarifications on that because those who made these statements didn't really get their facts straight. To start with, Seventh Day Adventists uh, did have a disappointment. They back before, actually before they were founded. The Seventh Day Adventist Church was founded in 1863. The disappointment that the uh, news people are referring to happened in, on October 22, 1844. And the, how do I say, the, the parallel of this is, is that yes, somebody set a date and there was a great disappointment. Um, obviously not to the scale of the one now because there were a lot more uh, a lot fewer people then, a lot more people now, and the, this one was actually a worldwide movement, whereas back then it was fairly localized to the uh, the colonies in the United States back in the early 1800s. So there are some differences, however. Um, to start with, the Seventh-day Adventist Church was founded uh, by people who came out of that movement it was not founded by the leaders of that movement. The, uh, it was called the Millerite Movement. It, William Miller, back in, uh, in the early 1800s, he, he had been an, a deist, and he started studying the Bible, and he came to some conclusions. He came to realize God did love him, but then he started studying prophecy, and he came to the conclusion that the world would end somewhere around 1843. Uh, Further calculations uh, brought him to somewhere around 1844, but he never specified a time, never specified a day, and much less an hour. Um, uh, the person that actually set the date of October 22 was uh, Samuel Snow, and William Miller did not accept that date until just a few weeks before that actual date. Um, he was he didn't feel, he, he, he held very firmly for a long time to the belief that no man knows the day or hour. Uh, we just can know when his coming is near. Even though he said an approximate year, there were people that were pushing for a day, and that's why, uh, that's why, you know, a date did come up. And in the aftermath of that incident, there were several different groups uh, that kind of came out of that. The first group, obviously, would be the the majority of those who were disillusioned and pretty much gave up. They either went back to their churches or they gave up on religion entirely. 